So our next team has made an Android application using React Native. And as a former English major, I was really excited when they told me that the concept for this app was to combine photo sharing with French surrealism. So uh, their name is Exquisite Corpse, and I'll let them tell you the rest. Hello, everyone. My name is Farrah Wolf. I'm here today with Lena Jones, Shane Mahalka, and Kevin Genis. We are very excited to present our mobile application to you. It is called Exquisite Corpse. Using React Native, we have turned a game the Surrealists used to play into a photo sharing mobile application. In this game, each artist adds to a collective composition in sequence by only being allowed to see the end of what the person before them contributed. The Surrealists used to do this with drawings. One person would fold up their drawings so only a small edge was still exposed, and then they would pass it on to another artist for them to add their drawing to it. At the end, they would unfold them all to reveal the entire composition. Our app has taken this method of assembly and applied it to photo sharing. For the purposes of this demo, as the first artist in this process, you see me taking a photo here and I'm going to send it to my friend Lena. She will now walk you through receiving that photo and the features of our app. Awesome. Thanks, Vera. Through the Exquisite Corps mobile app interface, I can continue Vera's Edge via my Edge menu. To choose an edge, I simply tap on it to launch the camera. You can see we've masked off parts of the camera, and this represents what will be cropped so I know how my final photo will come together with the rest. When I've lined up my photo just right, I will click Approve and send it on to the final artist to complete our mosaic. As an artist finishing the exquisite corpse, I use the same process to capture the final photo, Approve, and I'm redirected back to the Edge menu. Upon completion, all participants will see the edge appear, or I'm sorry, will see the finished piece appear in their gallery, have the ability to add likes within the app, and share on Facebook. Should they wish to share and view their creations online, we also have a website platform available for doing so. We love the idea of different people collaborating across the country and world to create unique pieces of art, each telling a different story. I'll now hand it off to Shane to discuss the technologies we use to bring the app to life. Thank you, Lena. Well, we built a two client side application. We built two client side applications. In mobile, we built with Android using React Native and a Redux store. We integrated with Facebook for login and sharing. For the web, we built in React our gallery specifically using styled components. For the server, we deployed with Heroku with an express server with SQLize helping us model our Postgres database. Amazon Web Service set up to, for our content delivery network with Image Magic serving as the backbone of our Image Masher, trademark pending. With all these technologies interacting, you can imagine the number of challenges that we, we were faced with. We'll, we'll share one with you. Creating one photo from three sources without letting the user know how hard it was to do. This process starts on the client side where the user lines a photo up to the edge of another photo. We use React Native camera, image resizer, orientation, which helped us pull off that feat. We encode that image up and we send it off to the image masher for mashing. Kevin will now discuss the process of mashing. Thank you, Shane. So when a photo arrives at the server, the server knows that photo's dream is to become part of an exquisite corpse. So it begins measuring and cutting the photo like a fine tailor cuts fabric. First, it looks over the photo taking its measurements, then it cuts a little off the top and a lot off the bottom. Now that photo is prepped and ready. The server then creates an edge using that photo and sends both on a trip to the Amazon, not the rainforest, the S3 server. There, the images await their final role when they come together as one to be viewed, enjoyed, and memorialized in the gallery. When we began this project, only one of us knew about this style of 1800 surrealist art. None of us knew how to do it, but we all understood the full stack experience is using what we've learned to develop these great ideas. With that in mind, on behalf of the Exquisite Corpse team, we invite you to explore our contemporary vision of this art form in the gallery. Thank you for joining us. If I dare, I, I, I think they, they may actually have created a new form of art. Um, and so I think it's, it's beautifully done. I, uh, I already have some freaky ideas for what to take pictures of. Yeah, it, it looks really fun. And, and I, um, 
I, I think it's a great analogy for software development where, you know, someone's like, here's my API. You can only see this, like, the four yeah. call. And by the time you stitch your whole program together, it's like one big surrealist piece of art. So, um, <laughs> and, and exquisite corpse is probably a good name for it's software. Name that's for, yeah, that for software. Um, that's really cool. I, I can't, it's, it's out on the Android store. Uh, not yet, but not yet. Okay. Uh, uh, if you want to see what's been put together with it so far, you can go and check out the gallery. Okay, it is really, it is really cool looking. So, I give a lot of props to that team.